if I know what it is to love because of her. She's the first person that I loved. Yeah. Um, and I always tell my husband, sometimes like the standard of love is so high for me yeah. because I already have somebody who loves me so much. Yeah. So if you're going to say to me that you love me, you must know what you're saying because yeah. I know what it is to receive love. I know what it is to give love. It's okay, Sissy. No, oh, it's okay, Sissy. Before I got married, I used to almost boast and brag about how patient I was, mm. right? And then I got married and I said, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say was... to me. Yeah, no, you don't personalize. I'm saying like, I got married. Yeah. And I was like, hold it's that not. thought. Yeah. Maybe it's it's I've got some work to do because... Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? God gives you capacity, yeah. right? So God knew the type of husband that had to come into your life. Yes. Because... 100%. No, definitely. <laughs> definitely. You know, because yeah. I, I can imagine, I would imagine that it was not easy for them, mm -hmm. yeah. but they understood all. the, the mm -hmm. mandate. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's about understanding. Because I, I always say that marriage is a ministry. Oh, yeah. I need to understand my calling. Yes towards Lerato yes. and he needs to understand his calling towards me. Yes. Any other person wouldn't understand. Yes. Any other Any person. Welcome back to our podcast. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, dream team to another exciting podcast of Here's a Thought with the Max. My name is Lerato Macheta. And I'm Petola Macheta. Looking pretty in pink. Thank and you, baby. baby, let me tell you something. You're looking very handsome. You look, guys, doesn't my wife look like a Turkish delight? Ooh. See what I did there? Listen. Turkish delight, Buffet. You look amazing. And guys, Stop it. they were asking whether you have makeup on. So he does have a little bit of makeup on for I camera, do. obviously. Yeah. But I actually woke up like this. Yes. Don't believe the hype. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Dream Team, today I'm very excited to be sitting next to you. I'm very fascinated by these two ladies. Fascinated. I was actually staring at them. I have so many questions. I was staring at them because they are what beautiful the and they're about Swana and yeah. they're like the same people. Yeah. But for me, I think it's such a great representation of the wonder of God. That's true. Hey? I like that. Yeah. I in like the that. house we have, are you going to introduce them? No, you go ahead, baby. So we You're have, well. <laughs> we have Millicent, Mashile and Innocent Sadiki yes. in the house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. The same Make twins. Some noise. Yes. Guys, thank you for being oh here. Oh my goodness, thank you, you for guys. having us. You guys look amazing. Thank and you. you guys are even sitting the same. Oh, Why? <laughs> I'm sure you guys get this a lot. Though. Wow. Yes. So who's who's the, who's the eldest? I am. Okay, so okay. you came out first. Probably. Okay. Probably. I didn't come out first. I came out second. Yeah. But oh. I am the older one. That's how it works when you're twins. The one yeah. who comes out first is the baby. Right, and the oh. one who comes out second is the eldest one because I help the small one come, come out. out. Then and, she struggles, and I struggle all by myself because oh I'm the older goodness. one. I'm strong and I'm capable. But it's easier to get the first <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I was just <laughs> lying there. She's like, I'll get push out. It. And then she was amazing. tired and she still had to work to get herself out. Yeah. But I was already looking yeah. fabulous on the bed with the oh napkin. Oh my goodness. Kitchos, I'm joking. But Guys, <laughs> don't ever say that we didn't teach you anything. Right. <laughs> and I and, never knew And that. you know you know what's fascinating about Inoli Milina? So when you guys walked in, I couldn't tell you apart. But because yeah. I've spent enough time with yes. you, yes. I can now see the difference. Yes. For, okay, no, this is Ino and this is Mili. But mm -hmm. when you walked in, like, 
if people when people don't know you yeah. you look exactly the same mm-hmm. so, so it's, it's, it's amazing yeah, it's the personalities Makes that it come out what is yeah. different about your personalities yo so innocent is more serious Okay. But she doesn't Ben's like. Born. She doesn't Ben's think born. so. She doesn't think so. Mm. And I'm more like bubbly and like and friendly and, and like friendly. Her face is cuter. Like Millie is like. No, my she, face is rounder. Yours is narrow. It's cuter, and <laughs> she's she smiles more. And like when I'm focusing or listening, yeah. my face tends to be more serious. Oh. But Millie but is her constantly heart, her smiling, heart. smiling. Oh. <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry, they they're so cute. I'm <laughs> just like they are so fascinating. Yeah. I feel like and and I love your relationship. Like as you guys speak, you call each other sissy. Yeah. Yes, it's nice it's sissy. such a <clears throat> it's such a genuine response, mm. you know. So were you guys in utero together or did you have different sex? So we identical twins, so which means that we did share one sex. One sex. Sure. So um, so fraternal twins are different because they each have their own sex. Yeah. So what happens when you're identical is that initially you were one egg that splits. So you end up in the in one sex because it was meant to be one baby. Sure. So when you are fraternal twins, you can be born from two you, eggs, you, two sperms, yeah, yeah, two everything. You can even be conceived on different days. Yeah. Hectic. Yes. Yeah. So you are biologically like siblings, like yeah. a brother and a sister. sister. Sure. So, but oh. with identical twins, we share the exact same, same day, DNA. Same time. Wow. Yeah. That's how we look sure. the same. It's just like one egg, one sperm. Hectic. One. Thing that splits, yeah. What what is biologically different about you? Biologically, I'm not talking about yeah. like personality yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What is biologically different about you? I don't know. Yeah. So I, our DNA is the same. Our blood type is the same. No like most of us, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Most of our like even our ID numbers have like only one number that's different. Two, but two, two, numbers. two numbers. So like most of our like biological stuff, like even health wise, when we do our like blood tests. It's Everything the is the same. Sure. The only thing that's different, I think it's us now physically. But yes. biologically, it's exactly, it's exactly the same. The and same. did you know that our kids biologically are siblings? Sure. Yes. yes. Because, we, because are we are identical. Twins. So our kids are biologically siblings. And oh, you, you, they're, they're not cousins. Same. They're not cousins. No, they're not cousins. Because yeah. yes. you're one person. Yeah. 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 Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. It's like God the Father, <laughs> come on, the Son, yeah, come on. and the whole hey. three in one. But you guys are two in one. Exactly. Oh my God is a mastermind. Hey. And you guys even have the same hands. I wish people could see your We even hands. raise our kids as siblings because that's what they are. Yeah. Um, then you can imagine the dynamics in our marriage because now you have your own family. Yeah. And she's got her own family. Mm-hmm. But now we bring these families together. But when you sign up, you know, you don't have those conversations like, Ooh. listen, you're going to have another wife and mm-hmm. other kids who are going to be siblings, you know? Yeah. So those dynamics were a bit tricky in the beginning. Yeah. But we finally found a place where mm-hmm. it's very natural and neutral, where yeah. you don't have to discuss it, but it comes natural. And my husband knows he has to buy five outfits instead of three. Eyeball. Yes, because really? it's got five kids. Yes. Wait, it's buy five bags. Kids. So, wait, so, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait. We never lost for words. Like we're so confused wait, right now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <clears throat> Hear me out. Yeah. When you were coming into marriage, yes. is this a conversation that you had amongst yourselves or with yourselves, knowing that this was going to be the setting? We never and had you, the conversation. You don't never. have because okay. we didn't we didn't plan it. But how did you guys so get married who, in the same year? Um they got married in the same year. Yeah. You guys didn't get married I met in the same did. year. I met my husband at her my Lola. Lola. At her Lola celebration. Yes. And then I was like... <laughs> okay, okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> okay, okay, I want to talk yes, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Talk about okay, it. So we had no, dated for it. four years and they had just known each other for how many months? Like got three married. months. Three months, yeah. Okay, so because you guys are so close, right? I mean, do you have the same toes? Like, are yes. your toes the same? I mean, our toes are <laughs> the same. So Most wild. of our things are the same. Size, Hi, boy, guys. Like... So, guys, same toes, same <laughs> everything. <laughs> so, what I want to find out, you know, the dynamic of being so close, right? Mm-hmm. When you started dating your husband, mm-hmm. right? And you were single, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was there ever a point where you felt like 
you feel left out? Yes. You know, was it was did, did you feel did you ever wish that she wasn't seeing someone? Was there that jealousy where you just want to keep her to yourself because of the close because you guys are hectically close. Yeah, yeah. We're very yeah. close. We're very close. I think our first big fight was when she got married. It was like our biggest fight. Because I think for the first time I could feel emotionally and spiritually that a part of me is shifting away to somebody else where I felt like it's now a divided attention. Before mm -hmm. that, I had never felt like that before. Yeah. And we had like our biggest, biggest, biggest fight. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I didn't mind her dating her husband. I was fine with that. She was always there. I think that was just always there. She was always there. She was always there. I don't even remember dating my husband alone. Like, she was always there. There's no date here. There's no movie night. I'm there. Yeah. And she was always there. How did your husband feel? How did your husband respond to that? I don't think it mattered to me. So, that's why I didn't really pay attention to it much. Because for me, having my sister there was very normal to me. So, nothing feels out of place because that's what I know. Maybe to him, I don't know what his perspectives are or what he yeah. felt at that moment. He but never for complained? Me, he never... No. no. Wait, so you no, were just... No, he's your husband. He had to be your husband. <laughs> so, so you would go on dates and just sit with them? I mean, we do. I mean, I wasn't there all the time, but I was there a like, lot of the time. I was there a lot of the time. I think he was relieved when I eventually met my husband, who was his friend, obviously. And whom I spent a lot of time with, with. as well. Because when they started dating, he then became my lift to work, work every morning. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time with her husband. In fact, more than you guys spent time together, yeah. actually. Sure. So, mm -hmm. so I think, so to the dream team... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. We just one big family. Yeah. So, you know, okay, I know we jumped into marriage, right? But yeah. what I want to understand is that do you guys feel like your connection is very spiritual? Um, are you guys able to just paint a picture, just a brief picture of what growing up was like? Mm -hmm. Because it, when you guys speak, it really sounds like a very spiritual connection. The only spiritual connection that I've ever had was with my husband because... The Bible says that, you know, when you get married, two the two shall become flesh, one, yeah. one flesh. So I, I'm just wondering, is that the dynamic with you guys? And what does it mean when you become one with your husbands then? Are you all mm. for okay. one? one? All for one. For, for, all for <laughs> one. All yeah. for one. All for one. And the four <laughs> became one. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a very good question, actually. Yeah. Um I think our bond is is quite special. I'll tell you why. Uh, we lost our parent, parents at a very young age. Our mom passed away when we were four. So mm. we had each other. Our dad yeah. was never part of our lives. So the only person that I knew from, I can say, inception, you know, from being conceived, like the minute... I was a being. I was with her. Yeah. So I was never alone, ever. So to me, it doesn't even exist being alone. I don't know what it is to be an individual. I've never been an individual. I've mm. always been a pair. So that's normal to me. Yeah. And so that's all you know. getting into being separated later or trying to be separated or being married. Let me say married because it's not being separated. Mm. The dynamic is a little bit challenging because you don't know your life outside of this person. Mm -hmm. And I always say to our husbands, I say, do you know, I, a part of me feels sorry for our husbands mm -hmm. because I look at other married people and trust me when I say we love our husbands, mm -hmm. we like those girls, but I always feel like they robbed somehow mm -hmm. because you can't have... All of me, like I look at you guys and I'm like, yes, I, you it's you have each other, like yeah. all of each other. Mm. But like with me, friends he's, and married partners, like I just yes. want to be with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But with us, it's not, yes. like, that. It's not so, like that because my husband like is my this. husband, but my sister is my best friend. Yeah. I confide in her. Both. I talk to her yeah. every day, all day. Um, she she she's a part of who I am, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, when I wake up in the in the morning, the first message I receive is from her. The last yeah. person I talk to, is yes, my husband is here, but she's the last person I literally talk to yeah. every night um, about everything. So yeah. there's a lot that I keep just as this. I can't wait to tell you this. That's mm -hmm. us every day. Yeah. Is for my husband, by the time he gets home, I'm like, oh, husband, I kiss him. It's happy life. We talk about the kids, but I've already offloaded so much to my sister. Yeah, I've already sure. spoken to my sister. Mm. So now I always say to them, I, I feel bad because you can't be my best friend. I already have a best friend. You can be my husband, 
Because yeah. my sister can't be my husband. So yeah. yes, they play those roles and we, we do give them that you're my partner, you're my yeah. soulmate. But, but I don't really have... But it's There's just that another level mm. that we can't reach with them. That It breaks my heart as well, but mm. I'm just like... It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Like, we, we tried... And shame, even for them, it was a challenge at some point because they're like, maybe we don't have boundaries or whatever. Um, and then there's a point where you need to cut out the sister thing or your sister is too much and whatever. We had a lot of those challenges. Yeah. Hmm. And In I fact, think with growth, we had to mature a lot. Yeah, we your, your sister, sister. Your sister, your sister. Your sister. Your sister. Most of our fights. Mm -hmm. But with... with with years and time in our marriage, yeah. we've grown to limit mm. and sort of balance balance it nicely. Yeah. But again, it doesn't take away the fact that mm. she has yeah. a piece of my heart that I can't share with him. Yeah. So that's just what it is. You know, and if you're buying a house, if my sister doesn't like it, we're not buying the house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Period. My sister has an opinion of everything. Like, I literally made it a decision I'm yesterday. I'm like, you like it. I'm about like, like, it. Like, <laughs> what time you get here? I have a very important decision to make. Sure. Like, she'll literally be like, she'll literally be like, Sissy, check your WhatsApp now. And I will. And I'll give her my opinion. Like, yesterday, me and my husband um, decided on a curtain for our bedroom because we recently moved to a new place. <laughs> we died. Look, the decision open. was made, right? And this so, morning, I was with her. I was like, Sissy. There's two options here. Option A or option B. And the option that we both, me and Mr. made, I immediately okay. called the lady who ding, did. Ding, ding, ding. I was like, girl, forget about what we decided <laughs> yesterday. This is my decision, you know? Um, and it doesn't take away from my husband. doesn't take away from, from that decision. It's just that it's just, it's, it's a different feeling. Sure. Like, on the floor. I need to say one more thing, right? So also with our husbands, but what's sad is that you didn't ask for an additional person. Yeah. But I come yeah. with someone else. Does yeah. it make sense? Sure. You love me and that you just want me, but you can't just have me. I come yeah. with her. So there's that dynamic that you have to love her because you mm. can't love me without loving her. And vice versa. I come with Millicent. Keith can't just have Millicent. He will have me as well. And my children. So you sure. can't just have your two kids. Yeah. For instance, for my for my husband, he's got two girls, but he also has to accept the fact that he's got three other kids that yeah. are not biologically his. When I was in labor, they were all there. So that when is she was in labor, break. we were all there. So yeah. my husband knows my sister is giving birth in January the tenth. You are not working on that day. Sure. We are, we are giving, giving birth. Because this is your child. Two. So it, that's the dynamic. On his birthday, we all sort of close our diaries. Like, mm -hmm. it's her Daddy's husband's birthday. birthday. We're going to her husband's whatever. It's mm. just... It's Timbo. <laughs> it's a... It's a <laughs> Yeah. I'm alive, I'm guys. So <laughs> guys. No, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's oh my you, you, I think you're right, you know. Yeah. Uh, and now yeah, it's clicking. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're right. No, it's you're right. Because. No, you're right. Because, right. because it's papa and daddy and it's mommy and mama, you know. Oh. So there's no aunt. There's, there's no, no uncle. uncle. We don't use those terms. Our kids don't even old. know what that even means because for so. them it's, it's papa and daddy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we said a lot. So, <laughs> no, I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. it. For me, it's the wonder. Like, I'm just what, like. What? What were some of the things growing up that you realized because you were special mm. in that you were twins? What are some of the things that you realized? It actually. This is what is special about us. Like, this is what we can get away with. Um, immediately when I look at you guys, I'm like, oh, the pranks. Mm. The, like, <laughs> already I've got all these ideas. Like, I'd be tricking people. Yeah. Like, like what, what were some it, of the things that were just, <laughs> just like, in your mischievous stage? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what, what were some of those things? Um, yeah, we're okay, such good so, girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're always really great twins, very mm -hmm. good, well-behaved twins. And yes. everybody just thought, ah, they're tricking us. We're like, no, we're just no. being ourselves. People just get confused because we're identical anyway. Yes. But in school, yeah. we're like, girl, <laughs> listen, you're good at maths. I'm not good at maths. Hey, you're doing hey. both you our maths assignments. I'm good at this. I promise you. Yeah. So we always used to sit together. Like, there was points where I was, I was good at math, so I used to write her assignments, do mine, do her homework, do my homework, and so oh, forth. Really? With the good subjects. <laughs> yeah, it's good. With the subjects where she's good as well. She used to do both of ours, 
Mm-hmm. And then, unfortunately, you know, when I have to write an exam, I'm, I've never seen these things in my life before. Yeah, just yeah. Like, what is this? And for the first time, like, <laughs> I tried to my sister to her, like, away. Sissy, what is this? And it's like, yeah. And, oh and you know, you have like your twin intuition. Yeah. How you can communicate without yes. being vocal, sure. without yeah. communicating. Yeah. Yeah. But at that moment, it's like the twin intuition. You will call it and it doesn't come <laughs> so, out. So she, what is this answer? So, so, why, so why didn't you guys swap? <laughs> No, it no, was asking, difficult because we're in the same grade. So yeah, they separated us. Right now. But yeah. someone paid, paid for that. I mean, I paid for it because I failed. Sure. A grade. grade a failed grade eight. Okay. Yeah, I and did. She and then you behind. guys were in different grades. So now we're in different so grades. I passed and then she and passed. And now two. for all your life, everyone knows that you failed because not like someone normal who's failing. Because sure. eventually people forget yeah. you failed because you, you catch up. But when they forget the two of us, every new every new grade that comes in the school is like, okay, that was in grade 9 that was in grade 10 oh she failed that was in grade 12 this was grade so for the rest of your high school life except for the one year where I was in matric she was not there I was like thank you lord yeah. no yeah. you know of finally course, because yeah. now she'd left so she's yeah. gone you know she's gone so that was the first year we actually went to the bathroom like individually we always go to get wow. together mm. even in the same thing for the first time we started doing things separately, separately. Mm. that was and good like, for us it was hard it's weird but it's Okay. It's okay. Let's so, see. Mm-hmm. So just out of interest, did you start your periods at the same time? Because No. Not, oh, okay, so. Okay. No. Okay. No, no, we didn't, but it was very close. Very close, yeah. yeah. Very close, like days apart. Yeah. But <laughs> can I go? 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 <laughs> in different houses, but we still now get our period at the same time. Okay. You brought up, you brought up something really fascinating, mm-hmm. and it's, it's actually something that I was very curious about. Um, it already is very diffi- difficult mm. or can be tricky in relationships with best friends, even with your spouse, yes. um, with your neighbors, mm-hmm. right? When you are advancing mm-hmm. at different paces, yes. right? Yes. Given that you guys are literally two peas in a pod. Yes. Yeah. What was navigating careers like... Mm. Um, who got married first? I know that you, you touched on it a little yeah. bit, but what was that like? I mean, did did you ever start to feel like she's leaving me behind? Mm. Or, or, or did you ever feel like, oh, she's doing this, so I'm going to do this? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. was yeah. there ever a period in your life where you had to now find your individualism yes, yes. and what did that look like i think it's you know, for me i always describe it as like an identity crisis okay mm-hmm. because finding your identity in this dynamic is very hard mm-hmm. yeah. because you're always doing what somebody else is doing and it's never yeah. about what do you want to do at this point yeah like yeah. take some time and think about what you actually want yeah. so we never really had that it was like okay see we're doing this see let's do it you know and you were mm-hmm. doing it yeah. if we, you know we're very interested in the art and culture fine enough both of us i i hope yeah. that was like our own personal decisions mm-hmm. and so we sort of um streamed into that i remember when she was in matrix she was like head of culture because we used to write a lot of scripts we used to direct yeah. we used to be great actors at school and mm-hmm. and so so she was then when i was in matrix they also, I don't, I don't, voted, they also voted me head of culture mm-hmm. and so we sort of like I, I would, we I, tried to, like we tried, but and destiny and always mm. brought us to place. to the same place, you know. Yeah. Um, even when we didn't plan it, we'd always just end up doing the same thing. But we so. enjoyed it. We enjoyed but we loved it. Finding ourselves as mm. individuals. Yeah. My sister, for the first time, became an A student in university because I wasn't yeah. there to mm. help her and write her homework. Mm. And she realized how smart she is. Yeah. You know, um, and she graduated much first. later. She graduated first, she got all her qualifications. And I was like, I thought I'm the smart one. Now she's, what, sure. what's your qualification now? Because she studies so much. I, yeah. I can't keep up. So. But but she she's now the highest qualified person in our family. Wow. The very same person that failed. But we didn't see that before mm. because we're so attached to each other. Because wow. for me, I was like, my sister's the one who knows everything. Like, yeah. why? Why must so, I bother? So we flourished. We did definitely flourish apart. Mm-hmm. But then again, we still our needed each other to, together. to come back. Because mm-hmm. we just mm-hmm. somehow end up just there again. So, Even in the industry, when we auditioned, we used to audition separately all the time. Sure. Because we 
everybody was told us, oh, you'll get hired because you're twins. You look so cute together. Yeah, like, but then we realized mm-hmm. actually working against us because, because yeah. now they say. feel sorry for not taking both the of both you of us because they're looking mm-hmm. for one person. They're like, you know what? It's actually better for us not to take any of them. Yeah. So now we'd sit down like, Sissy, I think you're a fantastic presenter. Stick to presenting. And she's I like, think I think you're, you're a great actor. actor. Mm-hmm. Stick to that's acting. What we did. And so that's what we did. So the, mm-hmm. even though we get the same briefs, but we sit down and we deliberate and we, we say, which one is going to be the best person for this job? Yeah, like Sure. This keeps yeah. I'm sure I was the one um, doing notes for her on the script and running lines with her. Hmm. And then but she, she didn't audition. She, but I didn't audition. So then on the way to the audition, I'm just like, it's your job. Let's do it. So yeah. I'm saying this, you're saying that. I'm saying, mm-hmm. then we make sure she gets the job. Yes. With the presenting sure. same thing. How we ended up presenting the same show is that I was, she was auditioning. I was auditioning. I got the job. I was going to sign my contract. I, I went, went with her. Yes. They were like, what in the devil? You both getting hired. <laughs> but she didn't audition. I what like, is the audition. Devil? What in the devil is this? I'm just like, oh, um, yeah, by the way, I have a twin sister. They're like, you know what? We actually yeah. have both yeah. of you. And then that's how we got to do the Alpha same show. together. But so, so many years. But we've never auditioned together. Yeah. Except if they specifically say we want a twin, twin audition. And every twin audition we've ever auditioned for, we've we got, got the got job. It. We have so, got it. We job. have been so blessed with that. We've been to, like, literally every commercial that we audition for and mm. they're looking for twins. We've gotten every one yeah, of those sure. jobs. We've been so blessed when yeah. it comes to that. Mm. Um, but yeah, we can only give God the glory. Guys, this is <laughs> like Marat and I are just so There's a lot going on, guys. <laughs> like in our minds. There's a lot going on. But I think for me, more than anything, it's just the wonder of God, babe. Like, yeah, 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 you know, like sure. guys... Guys, mudi muma raweta mitolo. How about mitolo? Yes. So what I want to know is, you guys had a very touching episode on your channel. Guys, they've mm-hmm. also got a channel. You must follow them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Send twins. They've got a beautiful channel. They have standing conversations uh, where you spoke about the loss of your mom mm-hmm. at the age of four, right? Yeah. So I'm just wondering that I don't know what other twin dynamics look like. Yeah. Do you guys feel like losing your mom at such a young age also created this stronger bond, bond. you know because i've seen mm. twins i've interacted with twins i just yeah. don't know the, the intense dynamics but mm. they a lot of twins are they, they, they let's are, just say y'all are different you are like different <laughs> you yeah. know because because also twins fight to be individuals yes. i've seen twins almost like bleach muriri the other one, sure. they're easily sure. identifiable yes. to say, okay, you know the twins that we know. Like, For okay, sure. this one, you know, yeah. she's yeah. the funky one. This one, I was listening to you guys when you were doing your makeup. And um, I think it was Mili. <laughs> Mili was like, I want to cut my hair. And then Ina was like, no, Sissy, we're not cutting our hair. <laughs> yeah. So she said, we. I talk about myself. And then yeah. was yeah. like, no, we'll do like the... The Halle Berry. <laughs> and then, you know, it's like, no. So yeah, because not, we, we more it. than just us being twins, we're also a business. So it's sure. a business decision. If she cuts her hair, I'll have to cut my hair. Because oh, yeah. a lot of what we do also, it's very strategic, you know, yeah. uh, building ourselves as a brand. But maybe just to answer your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's my grandmother who raised us with so much love mm. that we we jumped into it. Sure, you know, yeah. um, I think she, my grandmother loved us with an unconditional love. Yeah. And so we had to give each other that unconditional love. And also we spent a lot of time together, mm. myself and Mili. Even when Gogo was not there, it was just us. Mm-hmm. Um, when mommy's not there, it's just us. When daddy's not there, it's just us. When it's the uncles and the aunts are not there, yeah. it's, it's just us. It's like mm. that mm. person you've never lived without. Not a day, not a minute. You don't mm. know what it is. And so... Sure. um. If I know what it is to love because of her. She's the first person that I loved. Yeah. Um, and I always tell my husband, sometimes like the standard of love is so high for me yeah. because I already have somebody who loves me so much. Yeah. So if you're going to say to mm-hmm. me that you love me, you must know what you're saying because yeah. I know what it is to receive love. I know what it is to give love. I know yeah. what it is to love my sister with an unconditional love. Mm-hmm. It's more tangible than what it is a word. And so mm-hmm. I remember even now when, when our grandmother passed, I, I again, I said We're to so my husband. I'm so sorry about that, by the way, because it's quite yeah. recent. Yeah. Quite yes, recent. yes, yes. I was in serious And our grandmother is like our triplet. Yeah, and so, she, yeah, she's, she's your mother. mother. <laughs> Literally, she's, she's our she's mom. She's our yeah. everything. Well, she yeah. was our everything. Sure. So... And, and I said again to my husband, I said, um, heartbreak and brokenness 
was always a word for me. And mm. after my, my grandmother passed, yeah. it literally became a feeling. For yeah. the first yeah. time, I knew what it is to be heartbroken, to be yeah. hurt. It was just like, it was something yeah. that I would say casually. Mm. Oh, you know, my heart is broken. Yeah. Like for the first time, I yeah, felt I like it's something that's tangible. Like, I would, like, I would tell my husband, I wish like you could just take it away from me because sure. the pain is so unbearable mm. yeah. that I feel like there has to be a way to remove it. Because yeah. who lives like this? You can't mm. live like this. Yeah. So for the first time I felt it, it's the same with the love. Yeah. Um, it's just that strong that it's not a word. Sure. It's so yeah. much of a feeling that I know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Did you grieve differently? Mm, I was about to ask that. We grieve yeah. very simply, <laughs> similarly sure. because me and my sister, we like we don't even have to talk about it. Like I would literally write a message to her mm -hmm. that she's writing to me. Yeah. Like, and we'd send it at the exact we, same we time. We have screen like screen grabs. I hope you can find them. Where I say I love you, she says I love you. Literally at mm. the same time. Like she wouldn't have read mine first before I sent hers. Yes. Mm. So we would cry at the same time for mm. my so grandmother. Go, go. So I would I would mm. be calling her to say, okay, maybe comfort me. And then I'd be like, okay, you're crying as well. Okay, that yeah. defeats the purpose. Bye. Or you like wait the car the other time. Like, we didn't even say anything, anything about so, my grandmother. We just, but we just broke just down <laughs> at the same time. It was just like, then when I looked at her, she's also breaking. It was just like, at that moment, it's like, just when yeah. we were missing her. And oh, she okay. meant the same thing to, to us, to both of us. I was us. worried about how she would grieve and how she would take it. Mm -hmm. She was worried about me mm -hmm. because we, we sort of were so aligned in what yeah. Gogo means to, to us. us. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's like that. I think even with our relationships, like me and my sister fight a lot. I know it's unbelievable, but we mm -hmm. fight a lot. But in our fight, there's still so much love. It's too oh. much. And when I fight with my husband, we fight and it's like yeah. yeah i'm upset at you and i'm not talking to you but with my sister it doesn't matter how much we can yes. fight mm. i want to talk to her i want to so that's that's how i'm just like we, we sometimes put unnecessary pressure on our partners mm -hmm. because of the kind of relationship that, that we, we have. have so i'm like but even if we fought we should still want to sit together and have a conversation. Yes. She still wants to sleep on the same bed. We should still, because yeah. that's how we fight. Mm -hmm. When we fight, it's like we even want to be yeah. closer. Yes. You know, it's like, I still want to hold your hand. Yes. I still want to. Like, we're fighting a real fight, but I'm just like, you here. You're not yeah. going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But yet with a partner, they they different. And also yeah. because they don't know you. Remember with my sister, I know her. She knows me. Mm. We don't talk of everything. We don't vocalize a lot of things, but, but we're constantly know. talking. That's you different. understand. And you also feel yes. Yeah, so my emotions, I don't have that. that. added advantage. Yes, I can literally just come back from work and I'm just like, just that's it. I won't even have to say anything. anything. And I've said so, so much, much. Mm. But, and I get it. But with your partner, you, you have to tell vocalize. Them. They did this to me at work. This mm -hmm. is how I'm feeling. With me, she doesn't. We yeah. don't have to. We we have that just beautiful gift that God has given us mm -hmm. of just communicating without mm. using words yeah and i, I, I just have i have her on the line i'm driving home we won't say anything but she's on the but line 30 but minutes no. till she gets home in a little time yeah, Baba, like, <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. no. what do you in 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 retrospect what do you think the purpose is or was what do you think the big idea was why do you think god created this world for you mm. specifically yo that's so that. deep that Beautiful is so question. so deep oh my god you have to answer that yeah <laughs> okay i'll try <laughs> because wow um i think god always had you know a deeper meaningful powerful purpose for our lives yeah. even with everything the way it happened in our lives mm -hmm. was so that we able to live within our purpose mm -hmm. um so he literally like put us in the fire for the first few years in our lives to sharpen what we had to produce. It has never been about us. We knew that our lives are there to impact people, mm. to change lives. And we could not come from a silver platter to be able to have impact. God had to make us a testimony so people can hear yeah. what mm. we're saying. Yeah. And, and so that people can relate yeah. with what we're saying. And so that we can also value life and value each other mm -hmm. because we knew what absence is so sure. this is why we appreciate 
Presence. presence. We appreciate people. There's so much like humility, mm. so many things that have contributed to who we are. And mm. all of those things were, were, were destiny connected. Mm. You yeah. know, all the hurt was a plan for my grandmother to leave the earth was a plan. My grandmother told us, like we told the Coco, if when you're going to die, you have to tell us. She sure. told us so many times and yeah. we just refused to, to believe it. You know, mm. yeah. I think God also knew that. And then our when mom, we told her, Go, go, it's fine. I think she passed a few days later. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because so, we had yeah. to like whew. release. Her. Yeah. It's okay, Sissy. Oh, Sissy, it's okay. It's okay, Sissy. Oh, it's okay, Sissy. I know. It's really hard. Sorry, Sissy. <clears throat> um just to just to, just to let you know guys um we we actually had placed a call um a couple of weeks ago um you know to Millicent and Innocent and it it just so happened that we called them to come to this interview literally the on that weekend so the next yeah. day they were attending the funeral you know so um yeah. So again, I think let's let's we we really appreciate you, you know, for just being here and we continue to be sorry. Um I think my wife as well, you know, there was a conversation that we were having about loss and we we're talking about how I didn't know how to be there for her because you it's it's there's there's a level yeah. of loss and pain, right? That you just can't mm, yeah. And and like you were saying, this was they were just they were just those. words, you know, until yeah. you until you experience you it, hundred so. percent. And also, I, I love what you said with your wife because it was the same with my husband. Mm. He yeah. was present. Listen to me when I say he was present, like every minute, every second. But I also felt like he 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 he, he didn't understand because I thought I understood every time people spoke about it, yeah. and this was our first experience of loss. We're too young with my mom. We were yeah. four. So, you know, with my dad, he didn't raise us. So this is like our first experience of loss. And it's been like a roller coaster. Yeah. You know, I am literally feel like a child again because I feel like I have to learn to live without Gogo. I have to... Yeah. What's life without her? You know, her, her touch, her hugs, our conversations. Like, yeah. how do we exist outside of Gogo? For us, Gogo is like... She's... She completes... The same twins, like that's how Gogo. She literally completes yeah. who we are. She's and now mom. again, I, I we, think we you know, back, we call yeah. back to each other. Sure. You know, sometimes it's like I know my husband is there, but I'm like now we're going back to that place mm. where it was just us, same where it's just the place. two of us, that safe place. Like, yeah. so, but yeah. And maybe then, sure. you know, just because I love God, right? Yes. And mm. and I'm always looking for his wonder yeah. in secret places, right? Yeah. And maybe that's part of the purpose, yes. right? Mm. To say that he would mm. have brought somebody into your life that will be able to feel yeah. on the same level yeah. that yes. you're feeling, yeah. right? And you and you don't get to feel that loneliness yeah. of, you yeah. know, maybe that could be part of yeah. it. And I think 100%. that's amazing. Because, yeah. because I, I feel like when I when I lost my dad in 2011, my my sister and I had a different kind of pain. Right. You know, yes, we were grieving, but I just felt like it was different. You know, but there was her pain there, and there was yes, your pain. Yes, you know, mm. but this looks like a collective mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. pain, mm. you know? Do, yes. do you guys sometimes feel misunderstood? That's a good question. <laughs> we get understood all the time, but... I think mm. we yeah. misunderstood, misunderstood. Sorry, by ex- extended, extended yeah. family. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But Why? it doesn't bother us Why? because they, they don't understand it's the dynamic. Too much for them. Mm. The bond. It's a lot. It's, mm. yeah. okay. it's a, it's fair enough. No, I was very misunderstanding at the beginning of this conversation. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was just. Fair enough. You know, 
was like, yeah. we, we came here for me, Lee. Who's this? Sure. With yeah. kids. <laughs> yeah. You understand? We didn't sign up for this. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. fair enough. But 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 we've we've um managed to not let it bother us. It doesn't at yeah. all because we're secure in what we have. Yeah. So what other people have to say, what they have to do, doesn't matter to us. And thank God for our husbands who got it eventually at mm. their own time in their own pace. It was not always perfect. Let me just say that. Yeah. Yeah. But they got it eventually at the yeah. end because you can ask for something, but doesn't mean you're going to get it. I can ask for my husband to love my sister's kids, but doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Sure. But with our husbands, like, like my you kids are his kids. Choice. Like, yeah. it's just, you know, um, so they, they, and we're grateful for that because we understand yeah. it's, it's inevitable. Else, yeah. They don't get it. It's I their mean, business. Yeah. We yeah. are fine. There's only so much we can do, but we do know that, that people just think it's too much mm-hmm. and we need to, you know, have boundaries as they say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and do better and grow up because they think it's childish. Sure. But for us, it's, it's all we know. We need to protect what we have mm-hmm. and the family. And it's that, not going to change. We try to build the way it is. And, and it is what it is. Like, if our kids get it, our husbands get it, they yeah. have no one else to explain to. So we, we touched earlier about your early days and, you know, being an individual and not really being an individual. What I want to find out is, have you ever felt like your bond is holding you back? in any aspect of your life where you had to make decisions, for example, Mili, where you're considering, you know, and, you know, vice versa, where you've let go of opportunities because you're mm. thinking, I can't take this because then it means I need to leave my sister Ooh. or I can't do this because... That's a good question. Yeah, yeah you know. Is. It's um, good if it's actually happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're you know, just like, no, it's yeah. never happened. And on then the contrary, <laughs> I think I think the the exact opposite happened with us because it's more on the positive side. We've yeah. become better for each other. And yeah. I've become a better person because of her, and she's become a better person because of me. I'm the person that pushes her to her destiny or her greatness or whatever mm, God has mm. planned for her life. Yeah. And she's the one who pushes me. So it's never been this one, you know, like our wins have always benefited both, both of us. Yeah. Yeah. So although she's busy making decisions for her win, I somehow always just benefit from that win. Mm. Yeah. So we just make sure that in my win, it yeah. never discredits my sister or else it's just not going to happen. Yeah. So That's you, it. So you never felt like, okay, now, you know, has a church, she's going to be busy at but the church, I'm not going to see you. Can I tell you, with, with some work, <laughs> yeah. like, where, where maybe, for example, if we're identical to there's some work that I couldn't do because she did something competing. I didn't do it, but she oh, did it. Okay. But because she identifies with a certain brand, then yeah. I can't do it because it's complete. Sure. And, and I am so happy to let go of money of any amount. If you yeah. think my sister is standing in the way, or yeah. and uh, I'm just it's like, just never been no. that. It's, it's actually we've had opportunities that benefited us yeah. because of the other party wow. more yeah. than it discrediting us. Wow. It's been more of a benefit. I've got it. Yeah. What is it, it now? This is now. <laughs> wait. Wait, I'm analyzing. Yo, yo, yo. No, this is. I didn't think you were so analytical. I am. So, yeah. I am. so what is it now? Purpose number two. Okay. Yeah. I get right to the first one. <laughs> yeah. Here's the second one. Yeah. Guys, this is a life hack. Okay. Yeah. Do you realize that as people, yeah. we spend our entire lives yeah. trying to get to this point? Hmm. Hmm. We spend our entire lives trying to move to a point of submission, yes. Yes. of sacrifice, yes. of giving, of letting go of opportunity yes. mm-hmm. sure. to the next person, yes. yeah. forsaking what is yours yes. and yes. saying, no, go yes. ahead, pushing the other person. Yeah. You guys got practice from yeah. when you, yes. that's a life hack. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. I'm yes. still trying to figure that yes. out. In yeah. my marriage, yeah. I'm yes. still trying to figure yes. that out. Yeah. Where it's like, where, where I get to, 
elevate my wife and I say, no, yes. baby, you, and no, when this you is your thing. You it feels so good to do that, that yeah. you're so selfless to a point where you don't even think of yourself so, at that moment. Yeah. Because in a marriage, you do think of yourself. Yes, you want the person to succeed because it's going to benefit you as a family, but you're still in there. But there's that thing. You're still in so, there. Yeah. Yeah. But with us, when it comes to my sister, it's like, sissy, it's yeah. all in for you or nothing. Mm, I will yeah. take the bullet for her without even thinking of it. Yeah. I won't think of it with my kids. <laughs> so for yeah. my, they, but they, with they her, kids sort of complicated uh, things. Yeah, for me, it's like, but we were like, she's going to extract her wisdom teeth. And my heart, like every day, I'm in pain. I went through it. But every day, I'm like, I'd rather go through that than mm. my sister. I feel it, that pain. Wow. You okay. understand? And I don't she feel that for anyone else. So, every and I just dread it. And dread. Every time she's on a call with her dentist and I was just like, ah, oh, sis. Yeah. Like, oh. oh, when there's certain fights that she doesn't tell me if she's she has a disagreement with her husband or I have a disagreement with my husband, certain things we choose not to speak about it. For sure. Mm-hmm. Because then it's sort it of hurts. like exactly it, it hurts me more. Yes. I'm like, no, he didn't. You know <laughs> so, I'm leaving my oh, house to oh, fetch you right, right now. now. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, I'm just like, yeah. He and said, same. Well, he did what? Same. Don't yeah. worry, don't worry. I'm going to send I'll you money now. in that house, chair. But you see, so yeah. then we, like, she knows my mm-hmm. first reaction mm-hmm. would be like, she's going to jump. I'm like, he didn't want to pay for what? <laughs> I'm sending you my family. <laughs> so it's, yes. it's like, I, yeah. she'll but, cover all the gaps. You understand? So, like, so. I don't have to ask. Like, and now I have a... their, their growth, though, and, and their... Mm. And their relationship. Yes. So then she chooses not to tell me because she has to go through certain things with her mm. husband. Do you know what I would like to do? 100%. Do you know what I would like to do? I would like for us, I have to have a conversation with your husband. Yes. yes. Oh, but I, you have to. We have to. Oh, those men have to bring them back with their husbands. We have to bring you back with your husbands because I have so many questions. I still have so many questions. And and I love this. I love this dynamic. I love, and I feel like on paper, it's like, wow, it's amazing. It's right. But imagine living. But like, I just, because I'm thinking about myself. Yes. And I'm like, oh, so your sister thinks she's going to walk in my house. (laughs) And 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 do what? And she's going to do what? And baby, mind you. Yeah, I'm just like, if only you knew, I would have if I wanted to. But I'm Uh respecting the... Oof. You know, the, the, the mm-hmm. marriage, God created marriage for two people. So mm-hmm. I, yeah. I sort of also, yes. you know, in so many ways mm-hmm. not to trespass. Mm-hmm. But I promise you, if we're not matured in Christ, oh my goodness. It was going to be wrong. It was going to be a mess. Christ, guys. It was going to be a mess. Jesus. Christ Cause, 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 does. Because, you know, I think that yeah. also the reason Larat is saying this is because mm-hmm. We've had those kind of challenges. My sister yeah. and I are very close. We're not twins, obviously, but yeah. we're extremely close. Yeah. But I think the dynamic is that because my sister's older, right? Yes. She sometimes babies me. Yes. yes. And okay. that's a good yes. thing. And, and yeah. it annoys him. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes he feels like, you know, when you're with your sister or your mother. <laughs> Obaso. Obaso. <laughs> like. <laughs> You can't, you don't no, want to like, Are you sure you want to ask? You like, don't you want to, to well. you know? Um, and, and, and we've had <laughs> fights about that yeah, dynamic. Yeah, yeah. So I can't even imagine it on oh, this yes, level. My oh, my right? No, because we've had, we've had fights about yeah. my sister wanting to uh, uh, maybe do certain things for the kids. Yes. And my husband feels like it's my responsibility yes. to do this for exactly. my kids. Yes. Because my sister likes to splurge and she likes yes. to give and yes. she likes to spoil. I and love then, my sister in no, love, he does. by the way. He does. Love, love her. Got a great and, and her heart, heart is, is in, heart in the right is in place. place. Yes. But you need right? somebody... But but right. my husband is Their just space. like I want. I remember we Boundaries. have a situation Boundaries when are everything when we gave birth to our first uh, mm. daughter, mm. and my sister swooped in, got her dressed, sorry, <coughs> bathed her for the first time, oh, and Lerato felt like, oh. and, <laughs> but Lerato yeah. felt like that opportunity was, was stolen from him. That yeah. moment, sorry. yes, I he was get like, it. I would yeah. never get that moment back. Has it ever happened? Yeah. Does it ever happen? She was there in my living room. She I was with my baby. Dog. I was like, like girl, come Sissy, down. catch this girl coming out I right was like, now. I've caught you the gonna baby. Change the nappy. I mean, I put on her first nappy. Her husband was there. You want, you want to see the baby? It's your baby. <laughs> I'm like, and then I asked, you know, I tried. I was like, Sissy, should I leave? Like, 
2001 oh. no one you know should I and then eventually I, I sort of like okay let me give them time I went home yeah. and I'm like okay let me give them time as parents and stuff but when you love someone so much you sort of sometimes forget which mm-hmm. is like boundaries yes. and there's a place to so. stop and you know so sometimes I, I ask because I feel like I'm too excited for her mm-hmm. then I just want to and then I'm just like am I too much should I leave yeah, or sure. what because like, be even difficult. when you gave birth now to Hanya so it was hard because it was during COVID, COVID times yeah. mm-hmm. only one and person so can I I literally cried so much I told them sure. before the I gave birth she did I said they said only husbands are allowed she was I like no nope. like nope my sister will come in mm-hmm. I'd like no it's it's I had to do a cover test every day but I had to negotiate with her husband so that I can have time with Swap. her yes. so now I'm, so so so. I'm like chair go to soccer or something go do something with your life and you spend time with my sister and i did and he was okay with that because he knew i could not immediately after she gave birth i was like keith get out of there i need to get in i need to see that baby and that's exactly what happened but imagine if her husband didn't get the dynamic she was a child Mm. please wait yeah you're gonna wait i was unconscious i had complications i was unconscious and when I eventually was woke up, was woke up mm-hmm. the first person I asked for was my sister. Yeah. And then they said to me, you're not even going to ask about your baby? Like you just gave it to me. my sister. <laughs> not, your husband. Husband video yes. not your husband. No, my husband video called not her. Not Jesus. No. <laughs> no. I'm like, where were you three years ago? <laughs> so, no. Mm-mm. That's amazing. Keith. And Pindu. Pindu. I have one more. Ke man ke pindu khulume. Meles khulume ndoda. No, we're going to have to have a conversation. Guys, thank you for coming, but obviously yeah. this is not over. Yeah, it's not. We I, need I, a part I love, two. I love yeah. I, I love yeah. the bond. I love the nuggets that I got. I was just mm. like, "Oh, this is genius." Right? One of the yeah. first comments that you made, you were like, "God's wonder." It's like yeah. God's yeah. right and it's yeah. it's amazing and I love that you shared this part of you, but I'm also I still have questions, guys. I'm still like <laughs> How? You feel like you yeah. wouldn't handle it. No. Yeah, no, he wouldn't. No, no, no. No, wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, 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 no. It's a lot. It really no, no, is no. a lot. I think, I think, I, I think, I, I'm a great guy. No, you <laughs> are. You're amazing. You okay. Uh, I'm a, <laughs> hear me out. I'm a great guy. Yes. <laughs> One of the things that I always say is, <laughs> I was chatting to some guys, <laughs> like day before yesterday, and I said to them, I said, You know, before I got married, I used to almost boast and brag about how patient I was, mm. right? And then I got married and I said, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> What I was trying to say was... To me. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't personalize. I'm saying I got married. Yeah. And I was like, hold that no. thought. Yeah. Maybe It's I've a got some work to do because... Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. True story. I think you must know yourself as a person, yeah. you know. Yeah. So what you're describing to me and and what I love is my takeaway is that <laughs> I genuinely want to have a conversation with those chairs. Yeah. Yeah. I genuinely oh, can I, tell I genuinely want to be like They also look the same, hey? People yeah. think they look similar apparently yes. the same Apparently. Take. We 100% don't disagree. Like, we disagree. We don't like the same guys. We have mm. different Send taste us completely. a picture. We're going to put it up. <laughs> <laughs> But let us know yeah. in the yeah. comments. And are their personalities different? Yes. yes, 100%. But they're very extra both of them. Like, like when like they're together passionate. In, in their room, they're so yeah. loud. You can't even oh. hear who's talking. <laughs> like they both talking and I'm just like calm down. They're very extra. And now were they yeah. forced to be best friends? So cuz now they have to be best it, friends. It naturally it's happened natural. over time. Oh, it yeah. was tough it, in the it beginning. Took a lot. Oh, it did yeah, take a okay. lot. It Re- Oof, but they're fine now. Really? Yeah, yeah no, they're they're fine. Place. They had to find their own relationship because we tried What? to build something that didn't exist. Like we're going on double dates, we're doing this. Mm. We sort of like did too much. They found themselves. Yeah, they found eventually, themselves. and yeah. it was one of the best yeah. um, moments. For and us. now, if one of them is there, he becomes the husband to both. He pays wow. the bill. He pays both full tanks. Sure. And whatever you buy, you buy for us. Yes. Wow. My wow. husband just bought a sneakers. He has to buy me the exact same he sneakers. He bought it with a different sneakers. color. So that's just the dynamic. You're gonna buy a bag. You buy for both. <laughs> Ten. But 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 I see them blurred lines. I hate them lines. But you know what, guys? Yeah. Like no, I, 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 I really, I really, I people bags. I'm not doing I, that. I, I, you know what? This like conversation. God, I want wife. <laughs> 
But you know what I think, for my life? I really, you, you, you know, God, God gives you capacity, yeah. right? So God knew the type of husband that had to come into your life. Yes. Because, 100%. no, definitely, <laughs> definitely, you know, because yeah. I, I can imagine, I would imagine that it was not easy for mm -hmm. them, yeah. but they Very understood cool. the, the mandate. Yeah. It's, it's about understanding, because I, I always say that marriage is a ministry. Oh, yeah. I need to understand my calling yes. towards Lerato, yes. and he needs to understand his calling towards me. Yes. Any other person wouldn't understand. Yes. Any other, other person, person wouldn't yeah, understand. Mm. But now, before we wrap up, you mentioned, yes. um, Millie, you men mentioned, I'm so proud that I, I know you. You're your so faces. Good. No, because yeah. I know you guys now. I can so, see the so difference. And even if I meet you individually, I'll be able you to will, tell yeah, the difference now because it's in you my... Got that twin mom thing. Yeah, she Listen, does. and I want to... But I was praying yeah, for two yeah. 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 I, I prayed. I prayed. <laughs> Guys, Bella. even the Bella. even the crews, even the crew is laughing. There's a grace for twins. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, you better receive it. I don't know where the joke is. <laughs> Hallelujah! I'm still, I'm still struggling to find the joke. <laughs> I don't know where the joke is here. Am I the joke? Yeah, do you feel like you've got too many kids? So yes. many, you mentioned that when we when you spoke about kids and you yeah. said that changed the dynamic. Yes. How did it complicate things? Because it sounded to me like it complicated something. Yeah. Because my sister was always first for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was always first for okay. me and everything I did, whether it financially, time-wise, emotionally, mm. I considered her first. Okay. And when I had kids, I had to put them first. Okay. I wouldn't worry about my husband. He's an adult. He can... Fend for himself. Do you hear that? He can find himself. He's an adult. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's me, right? That, that, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's me. And yeah. I know other people wouldn't get it. They'd be like, your husband first. But for me, it just, the, the dynamics changed that it became my kids first and then, and then my sister. Hmm. I know she's an adult. She can and fend for herself. Also. But she can't. Yes. Yeah, mm. I can't. You have to give But me she can't. <laughs> that is she's my Mureki. Like, wow. Sisters have to do that. My sister also gives me my name. Yeah. Listen. I told you, your sister is me. Listen. Girl. Like, you know? Like, yeah. it's just never broke. I love her. <laughs> yeah. And mine never runs out. I'm like, what and kind? I'm buying what kind? I don't know what she keeps saying. She likes she to say that you have been so good like to me. I need to tell you on this podcast, you've been so good to me. And Appreciate you so much. Oh, so, okay. so much. No, I, I just I don't this. ever like want her to lack anything sure. or want anything. So that's that's just me. It has yeah. nothing to do with whether I have money or not. That doesn't matter. Just I just heart. want the best for her. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like she wants something, she just won't vocalize it. Or oh, my sister will never ask me for anything, but I sure. just feel like she gives no, me a lot of money. Oh, wow. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, my, oh my wife goodness. is going um, to say about me, he just gives me a <laughs> lot, lot of money. Yes. Yeah. Oh guys, thank goodness. you so much for you joining us. We so appreciate beautiful. you. We love you. You guys are great. Oh my goodness. I love so you guys. Generous. I love the love oh, that you have. Oh, I love, love I, it's you. It's just, it's beautiful. Thank, oh, you. thank you for having us. But I think what I, what I love about your relationship, guys, like I said, it's, it's a spiritual connection. I yes. can't explain it. Good. I can feel it. Yeah. You know, I met you guys. This is the first time I'm, I'm meeting. I'm me. meeting you <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm meeting you guys. And by the way, guys, Millie has it's twins. We are running out of time. <laughs> Millie, Millie, Millie has ah, twins. twins, and yes. you know, and I get it. I now. have individual. When you I have see individual. them and their behavior, I get it. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. Are they but as they, close? They're very different from no, us. Different. But they're do they have this kind yes. of bond? No. Oh, okay, they're the individuals. Yes, but yeah. but oh. I, I was very intentional with how I raised them. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like how we were raised, we were raised to be like one person. Oh. So with them, I just raised them to they're be very two individuals. separate people. Straight okay. For them, because I don't know if they'll be as strong as us. So I get now it. they're just like, yeah. They are two I get people. It. They are siblings. 
Thank you. We Although really, I didn't see we, sure. really, we really do have to close. We really, really ah, do have to I close. I don't want to close, I'm but gonna, we I'm, have I'm to. I'm going to make a confession before we close. Yeah. My wife knows how hectic I am about, about my girls, right? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to hear about crop tops. I don't want to hear about <laughs> boys. I don't want to hear about, about marriage. I don't want to hear about marriage. Oh, I'm, already, I'm, already, I'm already praying wait, for like hold future on, hold husbands. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, yeah. they, they're like... They're like, you know, my five-year-old is like, yeah, one day when I have a husband, I'm like, shut up, boy, now. what do you know about, wait, wait, we don't do that here, oh, right? My oh, wife knows. Yeah. But hear me out. I met, I met, I met, <laughs> I met two boys, yeah. guys. Yeah. I yes. met two boys. I it's met incredible. Millicent Mashile's sons and for the first time in my life and i hate it i promise you i hate it to admit it i promise you i hate it to admit it in that moment and i told my wife i was like i see it husband can we still do arranged (laughs) marriages because those boys I promise yeah. you. They are a reflection of my sister. Oh, really? Yeah. They truly are. My they gosh. Really are. Thank they're you so amazing. much. They're amazing. This is a true story. So how would, how this would is we not pick those? I, I always tell you how amazing they are. How, how would we pick? Picky, picky, Mabelan. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining us. We love you. We appreciate you. You guys oh, are the yes. best. Please remember to like, yeah. subscribe, comment, share, turn on that notification bell to know every single time yeah. we upload yeah. this. In, to and know every single time. And subscribe. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on that <laughs> notification bell to know every single time we upload a new installment. Yes. Super thanks. Le Hakwe, you Super are thanks. not allowed to watch this. You are not allowed to quote me on what I just said because, wow, I love you. I adore I love you. you. You are my best friend. Oh. You're my best friend. I love you. Oh, you're my best friend. Oh, you're my best friend. I feel like I feel like we're twins. We yeah, may as well be yeah. twins, you and I. Because I just feel everything that you feel, and I just when you're, when you're thinking something, I'm thinking hey, it. And, and, and you know what the funny thing is, baby? As they were as, as they were speaking, now <laughs> as I was speaking, I was like, Lord. This kind of connection, I wanted. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. It's there, you know, it's, it's beautiful. There, it's yes, it might come with its own sets of challenges, but yeah. you guys look like you are navigating it in um, a godly way. You know, you are women of God. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Amazing. I had such an amazing. I'm so like so in cool. awe. I'm just like yeah. fascinated. So you guys are amazing. Same, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks to me. Yeah. Meeting. You know. You know what it is. <laughs> One time, two real. real. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Peace and blessings, people. We love out. Love you. Bye.
Amatafa asomile solo kuahamba yeah. Isn't that is a solan? Is it shell? Come on, is it lawn? Is it pangalele solo kuahamba yeah. Uyasta. Salisane, O Guamma, Chupa, Sego, Chule, Gong, Kenya, Solo, Guahamba, Angi, Pili, Maunge, Co, Angi, Pili, Maunge, Co, O.